Welcome back guys, my name is Brandon. Today we've got a trailer repair project we're gonna be working on. This weekend we're gonna be having a massive storm so this customer needs his trailer repaired quickly. Stick around. This is what we're working on today guys. We've got a repair project to do and this customer has had us do some work in the past. Uh, for you viewers that follow along, you'll recognize these lifts we installed on this trailer sometime last year. This is a single axle landscape trailer. We're kind of getting <laughs> run out of the driveway with all these repair projects. The customer was nice enough to drop it off for me this morning. I told him if he got it over to me quick enough, I could get it fixed for him before the big storm comes in because we're supposed to be getting a huge storm, I think, starting tonight. So this is how the tailgate holds itself up while the other side's completely broken off. We installed these last year and these have been awesome. This is a really, really, really heavy uh, tailgate and that does a nice job of lowering it down and making it real easy. But you can see over here, look, it's broken right off. It's snapped off there. You can see on the inside, it snapped off there. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to cut this off and we're going to weld a pad right to the side of the trailer. We're going to treat it just like we would if we were going to be hooking like a D-ring to it. So we'll cut this right off, weld a pad onto that, and then weld this bracket to the pad. I just put that on there as a safety. I wanted to make sure that the tailgate wasn't just going to come crashing down. It's going to be safe just like that. I mean, even the strap, it's all being held up by this right here. Then I just put that jack under it so that it wouldn't flip the tongue of the trailer up when I was working over here. So you can see there's just a little bit of material. Actually, I could just about bend this and break it off. Yeah. So that's the issue that we got right there, guys. And this is pretty classic for the state of Maine. What this causes, what causes this guys is rust and just the stuff they put on our roads to treat the uh, roads to melt the salt and stuff. It just eats things up and if you don't spray down your stuff here in Maine with like a rust preventative or they make a product called wool wax, they make another product called fluid film, there's all kinds of different ways to treat your stuff but this is what happens unfortunately. So we're going to clean up this bracket, then we'll weld a piece right over this, make a nice big patch on it, and that should help uh, preserve this, make it a little more stronger. Maybe even use a piece of angle iron right here, because this is kind of thin down through here. It's weakened up the metal kind of, so maybe I'll wrap it with a piece of angle. All right, I'm in the workshop. I'm just going to clean off all of this by just trimming this all along the edge of this bracket and that should take off pretty much all of this material right here. You can see that metal for that trailer is not overly thick right there. Now just grind that flush with the grinder. We 
we got that cleaned up nice, all ready to weld to our pad that we're going to weld onto the trailer. So let's go see what we need or what will work for material. Right, so this bracket needs to go on kind of like that right there. So I think what I'm going to do is take some inch and a half plate and stick it up inside here. So weld it here, weld it here, and then weld it along this edge. So that builds this back up. Then I'll take some two inch angle and put it over the outside like this. So I can just get more material on it. And then we'll weld that bracket to this. So it's got some more material that it can bite into. This material right here is just starting to get too thin for what this does. I got a piece of inch and a half angle, eighth inch thick, and we'll cut it off right here. And that's what I'm gonna make a strip out of. I don't have any inch and a half flat bar, so I'll just make a piece out of this. And then this is some two inch by quarter angle, and we're gonna cut it off right there. And I'm gonna do it using my eight and a half inch metal cutting saw. Guys, this is an awesome deal. 149 bucks right now for this saw, for a metal cutting saw. That's crazy how good that deal is. And this saw also does miters if you need to, both directions. Quick change of plans guys, I've got some 8 inch by 2 inch flat bar. I'm going to use that instead of this 2 inch angle. I'll explain why here in a minute. But I do need to make a piece of flat bar out of this inch and a half. The reason why I didn't want to go with that two inch angle is because we're going to automatically be built up two quarter inch anyways. So this piece, this piece here is going to fit inside this and get welded to give me additional backing for this. And then this piece will get welded onto here like this. And then this piece will get welded back onto this. So between this eighth and the other eighth that's underneath, it's automatically gonna be a quarter of an inch thick. And I think overall that's just gonna, it's just gonna look better. So that's why I decided to do it that way. So the next thing we're gonna do is clean all this metal up and get it back down to bright and shiny metal so we can weld it up. So I cut that just to better prepare for this to fit in there. I'll probably end up MIG welding this plate in just because it's so thin. And maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll stick weld this to the plate that we put over it. But I'm not sure yet. We'll see. And here's kind of like my little welding cart setup that I use for just like mobile jobs around my property here. And this is my Hobart 140. We'll be doing it with that, so we'll try like 3 and 30, that might be a little. Let's try 4 and 40, see how that works. That might be a little hot, but we'll see. Alright, I need to make myself a little handle here. Now I only weld it on one side so I can break it off and grind my tack off clean.
See how nicely that came off, guys? All right, let me turn it down a little bit because I'm right on the edge and it's starting to burn through a little bit. That actually went in pretty good. Pretty thin though. That is super, super hot. I pretty much had to focus almost all my bead right onto the plate because the uh, trailer metal is pretty thin. But This will spread it out. This will give it a big uh, pad. But what I'm going to recommend is he's probably going to want to replace these uh, vertical tubes at some point just because they're getting so thin from rust but yeah this will get them by this will get them by for a while at least at least all summer and till next winter now that we got the trailer structurally sound and we got this plate welded over it like i said this material is super super thin i don't even believe there's any way it could probably be stick welded the only real way would have to be the way we just did it it's mig welded actually i'm using 30 thousandths flux core is what i'm using so I've got it welded all the way around. Now we can put on this little bracket right here. And another thing too, if we put that two inch uh, by quarter inch angle, that's gonna push this out a little too far, making it difficult to latch up into here. So as it is, we're already gonna be an eighth inch out further than it was before. So, all right, let's uh, get the tailgate up get this lined up and tack it on and then we'll get it all fully welded out. All right, what I'll do is I'll tack this on, guys, and then loosen the clamp and see how this thing's gonna fit. I wanna make sure it's right before we go permanently nailing it down. Got that pass all in, now we'll flip the gate up and then I'll just weld the rest of those other three sides. Uh, we're almost 
almost done. One more weld, guys. Then we'll clean it up and we'll put a quick coat of paint on it for him. Get it back to him. Generally, the key to a good weld, guys, is to try to get yourself comfortable. That's kind of like rule number one. Get yourself in a position where you can stay for a long time and that it's not taxing on your body. And that's it guys all welded up it's not perfect but sometimes it isn't sometimes you just got to know when to when to stop when to quit and when <laughs> enough is enough but this is good but I'm gonna recommend I think at some time he needs to replace this it looks like this side might have been replaced or that side's original and this side might have been replaced I don't know this side just seems really thin for some reason. It feels thinner than the other side, so. You can see, all down in there. But yeah, I installed these for him a while back. Look at this tailgate, it's just like holding on its own. And this is a super heavy tailgate, so. Yeah, this thing works nice. So if you want to know about any of the tools that you see me using or whatever, go ahead and check it out. I'll have links down below. I'm going to hit this real quick with some black paint just to give it a better look. I always try to give the customer a you know, good job if I can manage it, you know. There it is. And that's all there is to it, guys. I want to thank you for watching. We are going to be getting clobbered with snow this weekend, so I'm glad to be able to get this project back to my customer. If this is something that you like, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. New videos every Friday. Until next week, guys, I will see you then. Take care, stay safe, and God bless.